and this one is a major one is to do what you can in every situation and let things go just do your best and leave it at that don't try to push yourself to do things that you know are beyond you now i can come with all kinds of scenarios in this situation but one scenario that i can think of right now is when it comes to helping family back home now i understand i appreciate that things are hard back home especially in zimbabwe where i come from because sometimes you have that desire to help people you've left behind you want their life to become better you want to improve the situation for them but here's the reality when you come abroad you will find that you also struggle things will take time to work out for you you may need time to look for a job you may need to wait for your visa situation to be sorted out there are all kinds of obstacles that you may encounter and during that time during that waiting period people back home will be calling you asking pleading with you to help them out and of course as i said i understand because the situation back home is hard but guess what you are also struggling over here if you can't manage it if you're not in a position to help then don't put yourself in a position that will get you into trouble in the long run and one of those positions is getting into debt that you won't be able to repay and of course the situation is different if it's an emergency there are times when you need to borrow money to help out in an emergency maybe it's a medical emergency or another kind of an emergency that's understandable but what I've found from experience is that there are things that can wait. And if those things can wait, then let those things wait until you're in a better position, until you're in a position to help out. So what I'm saying is don't put yourself under pressure to send money home, to send other goods home. If you're not in a position to do so, do what you can, when you can, with what you have. So that's my second point.